Well, most dog owners will brag on their pups and say they can do some pretty impressive tricks. One proud owner says her dog might have just saved her life. Tara Leonard was laying in bed when her golden retriever St. Bernard mix jumped on the bed and put her nose to her left side. The dog was persistent and jumped back up. She noticed it was strange behavior for her usually well-behaved dog. She got down on the floor, was sneezing and doing whatever she could, you know, just being weird. Jumped back up on the bed, pushed on it again, this time it was wet, slimy and gross, and I went to go wipe it off, and that's when I felt the lump. Tara went to a doctor and had a mammogram and biopsy. Then the diagnosis came, breast cancer. Tara had just turned 40 and wasn't planning on getting her first mammogram for another few months. Doctors say she caught it just in time. Whether you think Willow detected Tara's cancer or just think it's a coincidence, the best part of the story is Tara is now cancer free. Mm. Well, they look out for us and we have to look out for our pet's health. For one poor pup, also named Willow, an innocent game of fetch didn't turn out so well. The St. Bernard puppy was having trouble eating and her case stumped the doctors. So after several failed treatments, doggy doctors tried one last route and found out that Willow had bitten off a little more than she could chew. Big dogs typically have big appetites, but for St. Bernard puppy Willow, eating was a pain. Every time we fed Willow, she'd start yelping. So that's what started us going into different vets to figure it out. Veterinarians at two animal hospitals were stumped. Multiple tests, x-rays, and medications all proved ineffective. We actually said it'd be great if there was something in there. I could just grab it, pull it out, and hopefully make our kid a lot better. But and that was exactly what happened next. Worked with another veterinary clinic here in town with an endoscope, and they found a rather large stick. I thought like when they said a stick, I was thinking like a twig. Inside Willow's throat, doctors found this, a 14-inch stick Willow had swallowed whole. Doctors put Willow under and carefully wiggled the stick free. Wild, crazy, shocking. I've never seen anything quite like this. Willow is recovering, getting back to her old self. What are you eating? It better be a treat. <gasps> I don't have any treat. But she's not out of the woods just yet. It wasn't a broomstick. You know, it had all these little little branches that came off. Every time we tried to back it out, it would catch on a little bit of the mucosa of the esophagus and in the back of the mouth. It'll take weeks, maybe even months of healing. And no matter how much time passes, no one involved will ever forget Willow. You're so precious. What is it? <laughs> oh my goodness. By the way, Willow's owner said it was not a cheap fix. The bills for her hospital visits are upwards of five thousand dollars. Wow. Isn't that amazing? It is. You know, we never want to see our pets uncomfortable, and that can go for the floors that they walk on as well. Up next, our friends from Angie's List give us the lowdown on pet friendly flooring options. Well, Yogi here would love to run around on your new pet friendly flooring, but he's not the only one here at Tall But Humane looking for a forever home. You'll get to meet a couple. Next, Delmarva Life will be right back.